How about some reverse psychology? What's up, my Lacey lovers? It's your girl, Mickey, and I am back for another video. So, in this video, I will be doing a response to none other than DMB Nation. This video is titled, Pray For Her. So, I saw this video in my timeline, and I was like, oh my goodness, I don't know what's going on. Hopefully, it's no clickbait, but I'm sure it's not, because I've seen Bianca on the thumbnail. I'm just like, oh, okay, goodness. So we're just gonna go ahead and hop right into the video because I'm really interested to see what's going on with her. Um, hopefully her anxiety or postpartum hasn't sparked up again, but however, you already know my rules. If you don't wanna watch it, go watch another one of my videos. I have plenty of them for you to watch. I have a get ready with me one that I just posted, so go ahead and watch that one. And if you wanna continue watching this video with me, go right ahead. The link to the original video will be down in the description down below. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there and go ahead and subscribe to the family before we even watch the video and give it a big thumbs up. I love you guys so very much and let's go. Um, I almost heard this video. Um, <sighs> it's a lot of, um, a lot of stuff going on. Um, you guys, our channel got hacked again today. This time, our channel got hacked by our mind. Um, I guess a lot of people channel got hacked today. Um, our network studio 71 got hacked and one of our channels was actually got hacked some of our video titles got changed um it's probably still up i'm not sure uh talk talk with our uh talk with studio 71 on our network and they said they youtube is going to be re restoring our video titles and doing this doing that and you know just like before um but this time we were the only ones that got hacked most people who got hacked today so um they said everything's under control. Our networks at YouTube, YouTube, our networks said everything's under control. They're gonna fix everything. But um, yeah, and I didn't find that out. You know, Torchon got hacked until after I, I got off the airplane. And um, but the airplane ride was uh, I don't know, man. It was uh. Oh, I don't know. It was it was crazy, man. It was crazy. Um, Bianca, she not a. Um, two weeks ago, um, Bianca had surgery. Um. You guys follow my Twitter, um, even her Twitter, social media. You guys did not post the picture and um, basically explaining. I didn't really explain. I posted a picture of her in the hospital room. She had surgery two weeks ago. What kind of surgery? And um, I'll never ever want to see her like that again in the recovery room. When she was in the recovery room, um, you know, they had her, she had all this medicine and all this stuff. It was just, she, it just, she looked like, she looked like she was dead. Like, it was crazy. It looked like, how, how she looked at it, it wasn't her at all. Um, like, I was there holding her hand and stuff, and, um, you know, I didn't record anything. I took a picture of her. Uh, I showed her it. I usually record everything that goes on in our lives, and I didn't record that moment, that time in that recovery room because it just, like, it really, 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 it really touched me. Like, deep down inside, it really touched me, man, because see my wife like that, I she wasn't responding to nothing. All she kept saying was, it hurts, Damien, that's it. And 
I just, you know, I'll never want to see her like that ever again in my life, man. And, um, I've been helping out with the kids a lot. You know, DJ and Kai, they're helping them out a lot. Or helping uh, Bianca, because she really can't do anything. She's, she was better. She was better. I mean, that's why we haven't really been uploading on videos. Because it's just some stuff been happening, you know, with our personal lives. And um, today, I just felt I needed to make this video. Today was one of them days that something, you know, that really touched me happened again. We were on an airplane. And, uh, you know, I'm watching a movie on my phone. <laughs> I think I was watching the movie. I was watching The Matrix Revolution, one of my favorite movies. And uh, the plane we was on, we was on a Delta flight. And they had uh, Sorry, I'm quiet. Y'all yeah, yeah, know me. I got to hear phones, everything that's right. going on. I got to hear it. Each, row, each seat had it on TV. My first time watching. And, you know, she had her headphones in. And uh, I was I was I was watching a movie on my phone. I downloaded The Matrix, and I had my headphones in. And uh, she just kept, you know, I don't know her. She just kept, you know, doing this. She just she just kept like shaking and shit. I'm like, what's going on? And I was like, Bianca, B, Bianca. And she. It was like, I'm okay, what, what's wrong? But she wasn't okay, because every time I shook her, it's like, she, you know, she like, every time I shook her, I woke her up. She like, I'm all right. And then she'll just go out right to sleep like that. Like, I'm literally, t that's like me talking to you guys right now, and then me, she did that like 10 times. I kept waking her up, she kept falling right to sleep. And every time she went to sleep, she was like, just kept twitching. Like, I'm like, what, what, what's going on? And, um, I think, uh, at that point, you know, she, she started, she started to become unresponsive on the plane. You know, we 30,000, 40,000 feet in the air. And I started doing this to her, like, B, wake up. My worst nightmare. She, she, Something happened to me being you know, all up there. But it was like, her eyes, she opened her eyes, but it's like she wasn't even there. Like, she wouldn't look me in my eyes. I'll do this. She wouldn't respond. And so, you know, we got, like, we was on a, we was on a big plane. And we got like the flight attendant people, uh, tensions, and um, they came over to help us out. Brought her water, brought her ice packs, um, not ice packs, water, and they brought her like wet towels for her forehead. And um, that wasn't enough. And then uh, the, the people, the flight attendant, um, they told the captains. What was going on? And um, they said we was we still had two hours to go. We was, uh, you know, we was we, was, we had almost two hours to go till we supposed to land. This was just a couple hours ago. This stuff happened, man. And, you know, so the flight attendant they went on the intercom. They was like, "Hey, is there any doctors or nurses on this flight with us?" And you know, two people had stood up. It was one doctor and there was one nurse, and they came over there and. They tried to help her out. She was really unresponsive. Um, she she it was hard. She had a had hard time breathing. They put her on um, a oxygen. They put a mask on her face. They put her on an oxygen tank. Um, yeah, this this is ridiculous. It was giving her some medicine, and. Um, who giving who medicine on the plane? She just, um, I mean, she, I grabbed her hand. She, she like, she, she, like, I grabbed her hand. 
and I squeezed it really hard and she squeezed my hand back too. But then I said, Bianca, can you hear me? And she, she wasn't saying nothing, but she squeezed my hand back and that let me know that it was hope. And she was literally sitting there, slumped over. Her eyes is closed, but she was squeezing my hand back. I want to know what is wrong with her and why she was acting like that. And then, you know, a lot of people start panicking on the flight. They didn't know what was happening. I didn't know what was happening. And then after that, you know, um, they call, you know, paramedics and stuff like that for when we land, they was gonna be ready for us when we get off the plane. And then an hour later, she opened her eyes. We was on the plane, so she opened her eyes. And after she opened her eyes, she couldn't, she wouldn't look at me in my face, but I asked her, said, Bianca, are you okay? She said this. And I said, can you hear me? She said this. Then after that shit happened, bro, it was like a, she started crying. She started crying, but she was crying, but she didn't even have no face. She. It was no emotion on her face and she was crying. I wiped her tears away and she kept crying. She kept crying some more. She wasn't sniffing. She was just tears just rolling on her face. And I was just, you know, as a husband, you know, I was just scared for my wife, man. I'm thinking about her life, like, bro, you know, I love her to death and, you know, I got to take advantage of every opportunity while she's here on this earth. You know, I go for my kids, I go for my mom. I go for you guys too. I don't want you guys to ever think that we took advantage of you guys or ever would take advantage of you guys because we never will. There's a lot of stuff that go on behind the scenes that you guys don't even see. I just, I don't know, man. We just, it's, uh, it's a scary feeling, man. And, you know, you know, you could die any day. And, you know, you could lose your love with any day. And you, you know, you, you, you never prepare. You're never ready for that. You know, I've been praying for Bianca. You know, for the last couple of weeks. anything for my family and you know that's why when Bianca get back right because I know she gonna get back right man because you know I know God looking after her tough right now and he gonna take good care of her you know I know when um when she get back right we gonna go all in on these videos, man. We are gonna, you know, we gonna show you guys we appreciate you. We love you guys, man. And I don't want you guys to ever feel like, you know, just cause we 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 been made it this far, we gonna stop now. You know, today it really made me realize a lot of shit, bro. It really did, man. Up in there on that plane.
She gonna die, bro. I want to know what is wrong. What happened? And there was nothing I could do about it. What happened? That's what I want to know. Her hand. And you guys watch us every day. Um, and I just want to, you know, let you guys know that, you know, I love you. And Bianca do too. And once you get back right, you know, we're going to pray and we're going to bring that fire, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people have been asking, yo, we're DMB Nation, now we're the old DMB Nation. Trust me when I say this, man. DMB Nation. The old DMB Nation coming back. I mean, because, you know, while I'm here on this earth, I want to make the most out of every opportunity, you know, that's presented to me. You know, I'm not going to take nothing, not, I'm not going to take advantage of anything, man. You know, I'm not going to, I mean, I'm going to take advantage of every opportunity. I'm never going to take nothing for granted. I'm not going to take my wife for granted, my kids. I'm not even going to take you guys for granted, man. But just, just, I mean, just, just know, man, just, you know, go home and, you know, hug your mom, tell her you love her, tell your daddy you love her, your brothers and sisters, man, because, I mean, you just never know, you know, what could happen at any time. You know, I just want to make this video, you know, a little update video. Um, pray for Bianca, man, because I am. And um, just hope everything goes well. And uh, I'm going to talk to you guys later. to say um one i just want to apologize for being so quiet during that video just because oh, i'm serious y'all i don't watch these videos before i watch them with you guys so when i want to watch them I, I have to be quiet like i need to hear what's going on who did what who said what when it happened how it happened so i gotta be quiet so really you just watch the video of me okay you're not gonna get a response from me until the end all right now that we're in the end I need to know what happened to Bianca. That's what he failed to say. So obviously there's gonna be another video coming soon, okay? Um, and then I really wanna know what happened to her. Um, three, he's right. He's right. Things can happen at the drop of a dime. They can happen so quickly. And that kind of triggered something for me just because my daughter's birthday is this month and her birthday's on the 30th. So the 28th is the day my mom actually had a stroke. Um, a very similar situation to what he says, what he's talking about. So that's why I'm just like, what is it? What happened with, to her? You know, because strokes are happening in people younger and younger. And when my mom had her stroke, she was perfectly fine. No symptoms, no signs. She didn't have a headache, nothing. We went out to Legoland. That's why my daughter wanted to go for her birthday. We got back home safe and sound. Everybody was like, good night, good night. We're going to bed. Da, 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 da. I'm like, good night, mama. Thank you so much for everything today. I love you so much. I turn around and she drops what's in her hand. I'm like, uh, you good, mama? You straight? She turns back around and she's just like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. And so I'm like, all right, well, um, give me a hug or whatever. I look at her in her face and her face shifts to one side. I'm like, mom, mom. And I just keep saying her name. And then she, and she turns around and everything shifts back normal. And when she talks to me, she asks me to go get a bottle of water. But what came out of her mouth was not can you get me a bottle of water what came out of her mouth was i don't even know it sounded like she was talking in spanish and i don't know spanish so she said to go get her a bottle of water and i didn't know what she was saying and the first thing that registered in my brain 
was to call 911. You ain't never seen your mama face shift. You've never seen her talk in Spanish. So go call 911. But I'm not gonna continue this story just because that's a story time for another time. This video will go on for 40 minutes straight, okay? This video is already too long, but I said that to say that I was saying goodnight and that happened. It happened like that. From that moment on, we spent three months in the hospital together, me and her, because I wasn't leaving my mom's side. We spent three months in the hospital together and she could have lost her life you know what I mean? If we didn't act as fast as we did, as fast as I did, she would have lost her life. Plain and simple. Um, so I'm, I'm really, 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 really interested in, in knowing like what happened to Bianca because I'm very concerned. I'm very concerned with her health and how she's doing. Um, but you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. Let's all just pray for Bianca. Please, no negative comments. Not on this post. Just pray for Bianca because I'm really concerned. Um, also, he's very, very right. Life is so short. Please love on the ones that are around you. I love on my kids every single day. I kiss them, hug them. I let them know that I love them. My closest friends know that I love them. My mom knows that I love them. And all my siblings know. Even though they get on my last nerve, they know that I love them. Um... So please, 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 please love on your loved ones. Um, and like I said before, I'm going to end it here. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can join my family so I can love on you. Give this video a big thumbs up. Comment and share this video. I love you guys so very much. But y'all know that because I tell you in every video. Multiple times in every video. And as always, hugs, kisses love guys i love you bye